if you have just started using WordPress or you have just created your first website on WordPress, then one of the first few things that you need to learn in WordPress is how you can make a page for your website. And there are few ways by which you can create and design the entire page for your WordPress website. And that's what we are going to cover in this video. We are going to take a look at how we can create a page in our WordPress website. And then we are going to take a look at what are the different ways we can use to design that entire page. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you're watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DB page builder. So let's dive in in our WordPress backend and see how we can create a page. So here we are in our WordPress backend dashboard and on the left hand side, we have various navigation links. And to create a new page, we need to go to pages. If you click on this, we are going to get these two pages that are already created in our setup. So this is one sample page and we have a privacy policy page. So in order to create a new page, we need to click on add new page from here. So let's click on this. And this is how a blank new page looks when we create a new page. So here on the very top, we can give a title to our page. And below that, we have a complete blank area where we can add various blocks to create our content or design this page. And on the right hand side, we have various controls about this page. Now, if I go ahead and give it a sample name and I can just go ahead and publish this page. And later on, we can see how we can design it. Now, right now on this WordPress setup, we are only using the native blog editor and the 2024 WordPress theme. So that's why whatever options we see here are from the native WordPress itself. Now, in order to design this page or add any content on this page, we can use various blocks from the blog editor or instead of adding each and every block on this page and designing our page from scratch, we can also choose the ready-made pattern or the template library from the WordPress core application. For example, if you want to create an about page, we have a complete pattern library for about page itself. So let's say we want to add this pattern here. So within just one click, we can add this on our page. And in the same way, we can add various other patterns to create this entire page. And all of this is using the native Gutenberg blog editor. But let me show you how interesting and easy we can make it once we add DV theme and the DV visual builder on this WordPress setup. So now we have installed DV theme on this WordPress setup. So let's see what changes we get now. So we come back here in pages. And once again, in order to create a new page, we can simply click on add new page, but we have already created one. So we will click on this page right here. And now we can see an additional option on the top of the page, which says use DV builder. So in order to design this page or add any content, we can use the DV visual builder to design the entire look and feel of this page. So let's see how it is done. So if we click on use DV builder, so this is going to activate the DV builder on this page. And then we can click on edit with DV builder to start designing this page using DV. And once we do that, we are going to get three options here. Either we can start from scratch where we can add different modules on this page to design everything from ground up. Or we can choose the pre-made layouts to create the entire page using the pre-made layouts from the DV library. Or the third option we have is create this entire WordPress page using Divi AI. And with this, we just need to enter a single text prompt and Divi AI will take care of our content, designing and images. So if you are a beginner and you want to create page fast, then let's go ahead and try the pre-made layout first and then we will see how we can use Divi AI. So let's click on browse layouts. And here we can see we have a lot of website templates that we can use to create this page for our WordPress website. So no matter what kind of website you are trying to create using Divi, you are going to get the Divi layout template for almost every kind of site that you're planning to create. If in case you are not able to find the exact match, then I'm sure you will be able to find the one which looks very similar to your requirement. And then you can use the DB Visual Builder to edit that as per your requirement. Along with that, on the left hand side, we have various categories. So let's say we want to build a business website. So we click on this category. So let's say we want to create a corporate website. So we have a corporate layout here. If we click on this, 
So here we can see we have nine different template pages under this entire corporate landing page layout pack. So whatever type of page you want to create, you can choose the layout for that from here. So let's say we want to create an about us page for this website. So if we select this template, this is the preview of how this template is going to look. And in order to add this on our website, we simply need to click on use this layout. And this is going to start importing everything on our page. And boom, within no time, we got our entire page created using the Divi pre-made templates. And this looks really amazing. And once this is done, we can simply go ahead and edit each and every element using the Divi visual builder. And once we are done with the changes, we can simply click on save from here and then exit the visual builder. And once we exit the visual builder, this is how our page looks in the front end. Now, after making our page using the pre-made layouts from the Divi library, let's see how we can use the Divi AI to create the entire page for our website. So let's come back here in our pages in our WordPress backend and let's make a new page here. So if we click on add new page, if you notice, as we have already installed Divi on this setup, we now get a new option that is creating or building this page using Divi Builder. So either we can use the default editor or we can choose the Divi Builder to create this entire page. So let me just go ahead and click on publish to publish this page. And then we will continue with using Divi Builder to create this page. And once we click on use Divi Builder, it's again going to show us the three options. And this time we are going to choose build with AI. So let's click on this. And this is the part where we need to enter our text prompt or the details about the page that you want to create so that the Divi AI can have an understanding of what kind of page you want to create using it. So on the first option, we need to add the description of the page. And for this example, we are going to enter a simple text prompt to describing for creating an about page for a corporate website and showcasing a little bit about our services. And after that, we have an option to tell DV AI about our website. So here we can give a general idea about the complete website so that the DV AI will get the context of the complete website and then create the page accordingly. So right now we are going to leave it blank, but for better results, you can go ahead and enter some details about your company as well. And after that, we have three options for images. First one is using stock images. So this is going to use the free images that are available online, or we can use Divi AI to generate the images as well. So this is going to take a little bit more time as compared to the first one, because the AI is actually going to generate new images for us, or we can simply use a placeholder. So this is going to create a kind of a wireframe for our page. After that, we have an option for font and colors. So we can choose what type of font we want. So I'm just going to keep it as website default and same goes for the colors and with that i'm going to click on generate layout and see what dv ai comes up so this is going to take a few seconds to take all the inputs and process all that we have provided and let's see what layout we get here and boom here we have our web page generated by dv ai and here we got all our services we have our team members and we have the testimonials as well and basically everything that we need to create an about us page for our website and once again we can edit everything on this page using the divi visual builder <music> So we just saw how easy and amazing it is to use Divi AI to make a page on our WordPress website. Now, while working on your WordPress website, you definitely need to create more than one page. And I'm sure you don't want to create each and every page manually and then design it using maybe Divi layouts or Divi AI. So here is a quick and efficient way to do that. And that is Divi sites, which can create the entire website for you using the Divi pre-made layouts or using Divi AI. And with this, you will be able to create all the pages you need for your website in just one go. And along with that, you will also get the Divi theme templates that you can edit to customize the look and feel of your website. So let me show you how this one works. So let's say for this example, you want to create a pizza restaurant website and you are going to have different pages for that. So let's see how we can use Divi sites to create the entire website with all the pages and theme templates. So for that, once we logged in into our WordPress backend, we need to go to Divi and here we got the option for Divi quick sites. So we click on generate a new site 
and again we get two options either we can choose a website template so this is again going to open up all the Divi layout packs which you can choose from so again this is going to take us into the Divi layout packs where we can choose the type of website we want to create along with that you can also generate the entire website using Divi AI so let's say we go with Divi AI and see how it works so let's click on generate my website and again we are going to enter all the website details here so let's say we enter the site name as our business name and we can also give a site slogan or the business slogan here and this is the point where we need to enter our text prompt about our website so we are going to paste our prompt here and as you can see it's a pretty long prompt so we try to keep it as descriptive as possible so we just try to give all the details about all the pages and what kind of look and feel we want so once again try to be as descriptive as possible to get the best result out of it after that we have an option for e-commerce if you want to add e-commerce into it or not and then we have an option to upload our logo so let's add our logo like this so let's add our logo and then we have an option to use stock images or generate using AI and use placeholder images just like we saw a few minutes ago. And after that, once again, we have the images option. So once again, I'm going to select generate images using AI. And after that, once again, we have the custom fonts and typography. So I'm going to choose default once again. And once everything is done, we just need to click on generate site. So we click on this. And once again, it's going to take a few seconds to process all our inputs and generate the entire website for us. And again, this is going to give us all the pages and theme templates that we need for this website. So once the website is ready, here are the pages that are generated by Divi AI. Then we have the theme templates again generated by Divi AI. So let's open our website in a new tab and see how it looks. So this is the website that we got generated using the Divi AI. So if we scroll down, this is how it looks. So all the text and images are generated by Divi AI and it looks pretty clean and professional. Now this looks perfect and can easily act as the first draft of our website. Now we can go ahead and use the Divi Visual Builder to edit any color, image or text. So we can edit any part of this website using the Divi Visual Builder. So that's how easy it is to create a new page on your WordPress website and use various ways to design it completely. Now in the comment section below, do let us know what is your favorite way to design your page. Are you going to use the blog editor or the blog patterns or you are going to use the Divi pre-made layouts to create the entire page? Or are you going to use the Divi AI or Divi sites to create all the pages for your website? We would love to see your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like. And for more WordPress videos like this one, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one.